So if you've got a bunch of bid axes, there's a new firmware update tool that's gonna make it much easier to keep all of your bid axes updated. Now the traditional update process, as you know, involves going over to AxeOS. Uh, you can check for a new firmware update and then download the latest update file. And then you're gonna to wanna to go and update both the website file as well as the firmware update file for each bid axe. And if you've got a bunch of bid axes, it can be a bit tedious to like open up a bunch of tabs and then one by one update the website for each one. Uh, and then once all those are done, you go in and update the firmware updates for all of them. Luckily though, there is a new tool that's available that's gonna to help to automate and streamline that whole process. Plus, it's gonna allow you to build your own firmware update files directly from the source code. And this open source project is called Nomad Build. The project is available over on GitHub, and I'll link to it down in the description below, of course. And it was created by Mars Mensch over on Twitter, slash X. And in this video, let's go ahead and walk through the process now of getting it installed, up and running, and updating our bit axis. Now, diving right into things, to get up and running, if we take a look at the GitHub page and then we scroll down a little bit, uh, there's actually a section here for installation, which is gonna help us walk through the process. Now, as far as the prerequisite, it says that we do need to have Docker installed and up and running. And for that, we can just go over to docker.com. Uh, there's this blue button right here. And if we scroll down a little bit, you can see we've got the options here to install it for a variety of different platforms. And then once that's installed and running, it says the next step is to clone the repository. You can clone it into something like VS Code, of course, if you wanna poke around and take a look at the source code, or you can just do it here from the terminal. So I'll just copy this this here and we'll pull up our terminal and go ahead and clone it here like this. Once it's done, that's pretty quick. Uh, we just need to CD into the directory. So we'll just CD nomad build. And then next we're gonna wanna go ahead and build the local Docker image here like this. So we'll copy that, switch back over and hit paste. Okay, let's go ahead and allow this. And once it's done, it looks like that. It did take a few minutes to complete, but uh, here we go. And then heading back over here, it says to uh, launch the web interface and run it. We're just gonna wanna grab this. So we'll copy and then paste. Okay, now that it's up, uh, we've got this link right here, which we can load into our browser and it's gonna bring us to right here. Now we've got two options here to actually build the firmware yourself directly from source code. It's gonna pull up the latest stable firmware that's available here from the GitHub page for uh, the Bitax firmware. And then you can also go in and choose a specific firmware version if you like, but I'm gonna go ahead and load in the latest stable firmware here for my Bitaxes. Cancel out of that and just hit stable again here like this uh, and let's build the latest stable firmware. We'll scroll down a little bit here to take a look. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and compile everything here directly from source. And now that it's done, uh, we've got our firmware file built here, 271-sovereign. So we can go ahead and tap on this right here. And it's gonna go ahead and next ask us to input the IP address of one of our bit axes. So we'll go ahead and do that here. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and flash this new firmware version, 271-sovereign that we just compiled. And it's gonna update both the firmware update file, espminer.bin, as well as the web interface itself all in one. So we'll go ahead and just flash the device here like this and hit okay. Uh, and then if we scroll down, we can go ahead and watch the update process here as well. And once it's done, it says flash successful. And if we take a look now at this specific bit axe, you can see now the current version is 271-sovereign. Now, if you've got multiple bit axes here in your swarm, you actually have the ability to update all of them. I've, uh, you can see got 271-sovereign loaded on here. I've actually got an older beta firmware installed on most all of them. Uh, I've actually been holding off on uh, updating to 270 uh, to specifically to do this video, and then 271 was just shortly released afterwards. But let's take a look at how we can get, go ahead and uh, mass update here a bunch of our bit axes next. And to do that, if we go back over here to the GitHub page and we scroll down, uh, you can see we've got a number of different options here from the command line. Uh, we can choose you know, what firmware update we want, we can choose even what specific IP address we wanna do, or the main thing here is if we wanna go ahead and flash multiple devices, we can go ahead and punch in the IP addresses for all the devices and then go ahead and flash them all from the command line. And to do that, if we take a look in the directory here for nomad build, uh, there's gonna be a file here for sample devices.csv. If we open this up, you can see we've got a list here of a bunch of different IP addresses and we can categorize them and break them up here like this. But if you want, uh, you can basically enter in the IP and then just say update all of the different bit axes here with these specific IPs. And I'll go ahead and punch in the IP addresses here of my different bit axes, for example, and you can do, of course, the exact same here with yours. 
And then we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go in and export this to a CSV file as well. I'll call it something like bitaxes.csv and then hit enter. And then now, in addition to the sample devices, I've got a new one here called bitaxes.csv. Now, as far as how to use this file then, you can see we've got a section right here that lets us know how to flash multiple devices from that CSV file. And we basically just wanna have this right here that says, you know, flash using a CSV file, not just one single IP address like that, using devices.csv, for example. And so let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna do nomadbuild.sh tag, let's do 271 in this case, flash-csv, and I called it bitaxes.csv, and let's hit enter. And now it's gonna go ahead and start the process, as you can see here, to uh, compile the code and then update all of our bit axes for us one by one. And then once it's compiled, it's gonna confirm that you want to uh, install 271-sovereign. It's gonna say the IP addresses that you want, and then it's just gonna ask you to confirm if you wanna flash these six devices. And so I'll say yes and hit enter, and it's gonna start the process here. It is gonna take a little bit of time here for it to upload the firmware here to all the different devices and verify and reboot and everything, but you can totally just let this run in the background while you go off and do something else. Now, something that I like is it actually does go in and verify that the devices at those IPs is actually a bit ax, and it's also gonna check what version it is. And if you take a look, for example, it does a verification here and it says, okay, at this IP 1.59, it found a bit ax gamma. The ASIC is a 1370, so yes, that's the gamma even tells you what firmware version is currently loaded on it. And then once it verifies that yes, it's a bit ax gamma or whatever version it is, it'll go ahead and update it for you as well. And once it's done, it's gonna let us know. It says success, flash completed. And well, let's take a look at the results. We can pull up our swarm here. And now, as you can see, they're all uh, upgraded here to 271-sovereign. So we've compiled our own source code and we've just automated the process here uh, to update the different bit axes, which is super convenient. And so as you can see, that was pretty straightforward and we got all of the bit axes in the swarm updated without having to go into the websites for each individual bit ax and update them one at a time. And so this I think is gonna be something that I'm personally gonna find quite useful. Every time there's a new firmware update that's released, I can just pull up the command on the terminal, maybe update the firmware version that I wanted to load and then it'll just go ahead and compile it for me and update all of my bit axes automatically without me having to sit at the computer and update them all one at a time and update the website file and the firmware update file as well, again, for every single bit ax. Not a huge deal if you've got maybe just one, for example, uh, but this looks like a nice time saver if you've got a bunch of bit axes in your swarm. So a big thank you to Mars Mensch for uh, creating this tool and making it available for us. And again, if you wanna play with it as well, I'll put a link to his project down in the description below. And if you've got any questions or feedback, feel free to message him on Twitter slash X uh, with your ideas and thoughts. And so with that said, yeah, that's a quick look here as far as uh, yet another open source tool that's being built here by the community to make the experience here with our bid axes that much better. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video, which is gonna be another very useful project here as well. Hope you're all doing great and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.